gonna start with you, John, though, really, really quickly. I do wanna mention this part. I know the reason why you came back to The Lion King especially was because you felt you cracked the code in The Jungle Book. So what did you crack in The Jungle Book? Well, we, uh, Jungle Book, you know, I've been working on both these movies back to back for about six years, and all the new technology that was available, uh, I had finally learned how to use it by the end of Jungle Book. And, and at that point, with the team that we had uh, assembled for it, all the artists, because a, uh, a lot of attention is paid to the, the technology, but really these are handmade films. There's animators working on every shot, uh, every environment that you see in the film, uh, other than actually there's one shot that's a real photographic shot, but everything else is built from scratch by artists. And we had a great team assembled, and then the idea of using what we learned on that and the new technologies that were available to make a story like Lion King with its great music, great characters, and great story seemed like a really a, a wonderful, logical conclusion. And so that was something we set out to do. Yeah, I heard your son was very excited to like just be able to see it. Like, what, 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 um, what did you tell him going into it? You're like, just so you know, daddy's Simba. I didn't tell him anything. <laughs> I really didn't. I mean, it's, his first, it's his favorite movie. So I, I, I was like, oh, I'll just wait until he gets there. But somehow he found out about it, but still didn't know I was in it. He was just like, oh, the one with Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> and then during the movie, he's like, oh, dad's in it too. This is great. Bonus. You know? Aww, it's, uh, you, even your, your son, you're upstaged by Beyonce. That's yeah. fitting. Yeah. Fair. Chiwetel, this Scar is way more similar, I think, to the stage version of Scar, and I think that's kind of amazing because we get to see more of why Scar is Scar. And I just want to know, like, what was, like, was that what drove you to him, the fact that you get to show, you know, he's not just a villain. Like, I felt a little sympathy for Scar for a minute. Oh, good. <laughs> You're weird, but good. I mean, for a minute. I didn't love him. <laughs> Uh, I, I felt that, um, you know, it was just really interesting to go into that psychology, to really sort of try and uncover that and to, to look at it. I'm a huge fan of what was done before, obviously, like everybody else, you know, Jeremy Irons, and, and just sort of really just going back in and exploring that character again from a slightly different perspective and seeing what was there, you know, and it's, um, it's such an incredible part to play. Um, and so complex and, um, and all of that. And, you know, having empathy, you know, not sympathy, but empathizing with the character and trying to understand them and trying to get, get underneath that and such a rich, villainous character to play. So a, a wonderful experience for me. And I think, Alfrey, with your character, she's kind of the Helen of Troy of The Lion King in a lot of ways. And we get to kind of experience that for the first time in this film, at least in the film version, because John, that came from the stage play as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about it. Um, it is called The Lion King, but everyone knows that the lionesses are actually the rulers, the protectors, the nurturers, the hunters the, uh, of the pride. And so um, John was able to give us the space to to be that. One of the first encounters I had with wildlife uh, was maybe almost 40 years ago in, in a, a conserve, and it was happening upon the lionesses, and you could hear the king in the distance. He was coming, he was, but they were sitting, and we were a little close to them, and I've never felt more afraid and more attracted at the same time. <laughs> that it was that you, I realized I think that is the mother thing in most women and in some men is that, you know, th at the same time you suckle, but you also you will you will eliminate anything that, that comes close to to uh, danger endangering those cubs. So I, I just sat in that and I did whatever John told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole slew of VR, uh, consumer facing VR products that were hitting the scene. And we started experimenting with it at the end of Jungle Book and realized that we could build this really cool system of filmmaking using game engine technology and, and this new VR technology. And so we essentially were writing code as we were going for a multiplayer 
VR filmmaking game. And that way I could bring in film, uh, people who don't have any background in visual effects. We would design the entire environments. We, would pre we took all the recordings that we had from, from the actors. We would animate within the game engine. In this case, it was Unity. And the crew would be able to put on the headsets, go in, scout, and actually set cameras within VR. And whenever anybody visited, I would pop them into the, to the equipment. Did you all play the video game? Yeah. Oh, some of y'all. Yes. Oh, everyone? Okay. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so, so JD, awesome. you grab mic, so tell us about the video it's game. It's so cool. <laughs> it's, like, it's like watching your favorite movie, but everything, like, you're in it. You're in the movie. <laughs> that, that's, exactly what it, that's exactly what it was. You did an amazing job with this. So, <laughs> so it was me and Shahadi, Mr. Favreau. We put on the headsets, we had these little controller things in our hands, and we he were could just- fly. Yeah, we could fly. It was, it was like we were Zazu, we, we were birds. We were whatever we wanted to be. And we saw everything, we saw the Pride Lands, we saw Pride Rock, we saw the watering hole, we saw the elephant graveyard, we saw it all, man. And it was so cool, it was so cool. I mean, after that ringing endorsement, when does this hit shelves? Because you just got like the best ad for this VR game, it needs to yeah. be on the shelf. It's a very specific VR game that only works for making one movie. <laughs>